Good day, everybody. Welcome to Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. I'm Barbara Dave, and we're here for another uh, weekly three video series on some soaps. Excited about uh, the two we're going to be doing on Monday and Tuesday, and I'll talk to you about those in a second. But I don't think I've done a video on this one. We're going to kind of go somewhat Italian today. So basically, the tools for today are the soap is going to be Boelis. Panama. Now, the soap comes in a very nice presentation box, and it's a brick. Uh, it's a huge brick, and it is an Italian soft soap. Um, so what you do is you just, you can either spoon out a little bit, put it in your bowl if you want, or what I do is I had an empty uh, soap container, and what I did is I just basically uh, cut off a huge chunk of it and then just pressed it into this bowl uh, that I can use on a regular basis. But uh, Boelis uh, Panama is made in uh, Naples, Italy. Uh, it's been made since 1924, and it is your typical Italian... Uh, marzipan, almond uh, type of soap, very similar to uh, to Cella, uh, but not quite as sharp as Cella, and just a fantastic soap. It doesn't get a lot of press. Um, it's not an inexpensive soap, but it's 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 just wonderful for the face. Uh, for the brush today, we're going to be using a Morris and Fordran um, Apollini with a Sabini uh, Super Badger knot in it. Uh, for the razor, we're going to do a DE shave today. We're going to be using the Feather ASD2, and we've got a brand new uh, Paula Silver SI blade. Uh, we're going to be using Parasso Alum. For the aftershave, and this is kind of unique, we're going to be using the Boelis Panama brand, but we're going to be using the Daytona. Uh, it's a spray aftershave, which is kind of neat. Uh, we're also going to be using, uh, because this is very alcohol laden, we're going to be using CBL's uh, Apothecary Post Shave Oil. And then for the EDT, uh, we're going to be using Panama uh, Daytona. Now, these are typical uh, uh, Italian Colonia scents, so they're very, very nice if you like that. And then, of course, we're going to be using the uh, Boro Talco aftershave powder. Um, somebody had asked, uh, or made a comment on one of the videos about how I lather. Now, this is a little bit different because this is an Italian semi-soft soap, but I still usually, you know, I add just a couple of drips of water, and then basically I face lather most of the time, um, although every once in a while I will bowl lather. Uh, but what I do is I take the puck, wet it, the brush has been soaking, and just start loading. And, I, and with this soap, very little of a load is really required, probably 10 to 15 seconds. And I do some uh, plunging action to get the soap deep into the knot, and that's pretty much all. Uh, you need. And then what I'll do is I'll take what's left over on the top here and any that's left in the bowl and I'll just kind of use that as a, if I'm not doing a hot towel treatment, I'll we'll just kind of do it as a, as a pre-shave. And the almond, and a lot of people, the, the marzipan or the cello, they, they say it smells a little bit like, like cherries. And I would agree with that. It's a kind of an almond uh, cherry type finish. And uh, it's just wonderful. And then I'll just start building the lather on the face. And I usually do it in three stages when I'm face lathering. I'll get it to that pasty finish. And then what I'll do is I'll dip my finger in my basin and get some water and literally just drip water into the knot um, to add water to it and for me i work one side at a time and then add a little bit more water into the knot by kind of opening up a cavity and i work the lather deep into the follicles to help soften the beard and you'll know when the soap gets to where you like it. And, and you know, each person has their own uh, consistency that they want in a lather. Normally, I straight shave, so I like it a little thinner. But since I'm doing a D shave, I'll go a little bit thicker today. But my, my indicator that it's done, and this may be weird, is I listen to it. And what I notice is when it's done, as I'm building the lather on my face with the paint truck, the paintbrush strokes, it gets quiet. I don't know if you can not hear that, but 
it gets very quiet and very shiny. And Boelis will take on a ton of water and it'll just keep building, as is typical with most Italian soaps. And I've always also been also a firm believer that if you're not splaying lather everywhere, something's wrong. Okay. And as I said, I've got a brand new Paul Silver SI in this feather. I have not tried a Paul Silver in here before. Uh, I've done the, the Voss God and the Nasset and, of course, the feather. I find the feather blade in here... Believe it or not, even though it's an aggressive blade, I find it a little too, too mild. So the Voskod, which is, I believe, a little bit more of an aggressive blade to me than the Feather, uh, made it a perfect combination. And the Nasset took it to another level. And we'll see what the Paula Silver SI does. But the soap itself, you know, like I said, the initial smell is that almond, marzipan, kind of a cherry. A lot of people will compare it to Dr. Pepper, um, which I can see. Good uh, post-shave uh, or post-pass slickness with water. And then for my second pass, I usually do just paintbrush strokes because I beat up the skin pretty good, jamming the lather in um, for the uh, for the first pass. Now these are all things that I do in the barbering world to soften up uh, whiskers and so forth. Now for me, my across the grain pass is actually up. But the Panama is incredibly slick. Really luxurious shave. It really feels good on the face too. I know that some people have a, uh, they can feel like they have an, aller an allergy to the marzipan almond type soaps. I've been lucky on that respect. Then for my last pass, I will go back to like what I did on my first pass. I really use the scrubby side of the brush to get inside the follicles to, you know, give any last rights and uh, testament to the whiskers because I am a BBS chaser or as those of you know dolphin smooth baby butt smooth chaser and so I want to get every single chance to get those get it perfectly smooth ceramic smooth as they say Plenty of extra soap, and what I may do, what I usually do on my third pass is I'll take just a light, and I do this more so when I'm using a straight. But I'll take just a light amount of water and just do like a final coat across, and it really, in my opinion, it really slickens up um, the shave.
And this is my uh, against the grain pass. As so many have said before, the Feather ASD2, if you want a zombie shave, and what I mean by that is just a shave you really don't have to concentrate or think about, it's really the perfect, the perfect uh, razor for that. Although, me being one to try new things, of course, Sean over at Blackland has my number, apparently, as he just came out with the Blackbird in titanium. I've always wanted a titanium razor, obviously being a retired Air Force, and uh, he caught me the first time when he said that uh, it uh, is in homage to the SR-71, which is one of my favorite aircraft. So Sean's gotten a little bit of my money over the years with the uh, Vector and then, of course, the Trader. And so I got notification that the, uh, the Blackbird Titanium was coming out. So I wasn't going to pull the trigger because, as I said, I'm not... I'm not much of a DE shaver, although I'm becoming more of one lately with work and everything else. So that's on its way. And I really got it because Celestino on the Shaving Cadre forum uh, uses uh, a number of different blackbirds. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful DE razor, close comb razor, but still beautiful. Wonderful shave. Um, the SI blade is a little bit, I think it's the most aggressive of the ones I've tried so far. I'm not feeling any irritation, but I, it, it, it was definitely more aggressive. But let's see what the, what the tail of the tape says with the alum. A little bit of feedback, not much. <coughs> Excuse me. But you can tell it's a brand new blade for sure. But if these SIs are similar to the ones from years past, um, they mellow uh, pretty pretty quickly. The one thing I will say about the feather is, very rarely, depending on you know, even with the different blade, if I had to do any any cleanup, it's just just perfect. Plenty of lather if you needed to shave 17 more people. And it doesn't use much uh, much soap at all. Uh, since um, I'm going to be using a fairly high alcohol uh, thing, I am going to be using CBL's Apothecary Shave Oil. It is absolutely fantastic, and you only need that much, just a couple of drops. Lately, a lot of the artisans have been coming out with these skin renewing properties such as CBL and then Frank at uh, Ethos has got a wonderful post-shave oil as well. And it's nice that they're starting to use some of the nice products like hyaluronic acid um, for the faces. And this dries down really, really well. So then we'll follow up with the Panama Daytona 1924 spray. Now I don't spray it on, I spray it into my hand. And it's a wonderful Colonia, just a beautiful Colonia scent. Very Bergamo and uh, Neroli forward. There's a little bit, I think, I smell a little bit of apple in there, but it's just a uh, really neat soap. And I like the fact that it's a spray, you don't waste a lot of it. And then keeping most of the theme Italian today, we're going to go ahead and use Boro Talco as far as our talc. Once again, another Italian product. I 
I spoke earlier about some new uh, some new things we're going to be shaving with this week. Uh, last week I did shave with uh, Ethos uh, Green Fresh, and I shaved with it basically all week this week, and it was absolutely tremendous. Um, and I have shaved once or twice with uh, uh, Ethos or uh, Dragon's Beard Version Two. Very nice, deep, dark, very much a wintry scent in my opinion. So I'll probably be shaving with that tomorrow. And then, very excited, uh, one of our uh, artisan retailers uh, on the shaving cadre uh, is Dale from Victory Shaving Company. And this is a very military-centric, small artist out of Cheyenne, Wyoming. And uh, we did a collaboration. And uh, for those of you that have been around a while, you know about the Central, uh, the Central, Enablement, uh, Central Enablement Center and then Ombres. Uh, and then Spooky too, and so uh, this soap that he came out with uh, is just a wonderful soap. I have not smelled it yet, but every, all the reports have been very, very good. And uh, two dollars of every uh, soap purchase goes to the Fisher House, which is very near and dear to me, being an Air Force uh, retired Air Force veteran. So, uh, so we'll be doing that on Tuesday, we think. Okay, and now for the EDT once again. This is the uh, Boelis Panama Daytona. Uh, version and it matches the aftershave almost perfectly and it's got a little bit of a creamier i would say a little bit of a creamier finish than uh than uh, aqua de parma or 70th or anything like that and here's for you mr nurse dave all right well that's it folks that's the first of our three-day shave a palooza here at barber dave's barbershop at home we certainly appreciate you joining us if you haven't checked out the shaving cadre before please do so at www.theshavingcadre.com have a wonderful day see you again soon